We come from a dark abyss. We end in a dark abyss. And we call the luminous interval life. As soon as we are born, the return begins. At once, the setting forth and the coming back. We die in every moment. But as soon as we are born, we begin the struggle to create, to compose, to turn matter into life. We are born in every moment. Life startles us at first. It seems somewhat beyond the law, somewhat contrary to nature, somewhat like a transitory counteraction to the dark eternal fountains. But deeper down, we feel that life is itself, without beginning, an indestructible force of the universe. What is life? What is real? What is ultimately real? What is ultimately real that I can personally know? At the heart of life is a defining and transforming encounter with the presence of the ultimately real. This presence is closer to each of us than our own breath, more intimate to us than our own name. Yet, we spend much life energy attempting to flee from, escape, or avoid this encounter, choosing often to pretend it is not there, questioning its reality. But it does not go away, even when we go away. There is, however, a radical alternative relationship we can solitarily choose toward this ultimate reality at the center of our lives. We can acknowledge it. We can actively seek it out. We can even nurture a personal relationship with this ultimate encounter. What is this ultimate encounter? The ultimate encounter is an encounter with the ultimate. But what is this? Actually, we all have the possibility of this encounter at any moment of any day throughout all of our life. We simply don't pay attention. In the hour of our death, we each participate in the ultimate encounter. At this special hour, we each participate in this encounter regardless of our ethnicity, our wealth, our age, our gender, our sexual orientation, our political views, the morality or immorality of the life we are living, our religious convictions or lack of such convictions. The ultimate encounter awaits each of us. Yet, we can also practice visiting the hour of our death anytime we choose during the hours of our life. Some depth-seeking traditions prescribe this as a regular daily practice. If you say, come on, I do not know what is really real. I don't know what is really ultimate. You may achieve some clarity in this moment by visiting the hour of your death. This clarity can continue to nurture each of us throughout our lives as we invest time and attention in revisiting the transformative power of the ultimate encounter and the presence to which it delivers us. If you find difficulty internally visiting the hour of your own death, Visit the death of someone you love who has died and with whom you are forever entangled. They will help you. The importance of the end of time is as a psychological event.
What is this presence I encounter even when I am all alone, really alone? Who or what is this otherness that is with me from my first breath until my last breath and is present to me in every breath in between? Who or what is this presence from which I can never escape? What is this presence, this ultimate encounter? You already know. You already know better than you know your own name. What is this presence that every fisherman sitting silently watching a line in the water on a secluded lake knows? That every exultant mother holding her newborn child knows? That every hunter silently sitting in a deer stand observing the first morning light awakening the forest knows? that every soldier seeking survival in any war anywhere knows, that every soldier protected by the dirt of a foxhole, grasping that this same protective dirt might in moments become his or her tomb knows, that every leader serving in the lonely role at the top and seeking quiet inner counsel to make the hard decisions knows that every grieving lover who has said goodbye for the last time to the beloved partner or is sleeping alone for the first time knows that every survivor of the latest mudslide hurricane flood famine fire tornado tsunami earthquake or other natural disaster having lost a village a family or a loved one knows that every new lover in every generation as they discover each other for the first time knows. That everyone who awakens in anguish alone in the middle of the night, seeking a listening presence that is somehow willing to hear his or her deepest pain knows. That every gardener in springtime as they thrust a hand into the moist, dark, warming soil knows. Who or what is this presence, this ultimate encounter we all already know? This is a universal human experience. This experience, this encounter, is a gateway into an awesome silence too big for words. This experience, this encounter, is 10,000 miles deeper than human thought or human emotion. In this encounter, we are delivered into an unspeakable state of awe. The question is not, is this real? The question is, do I choose to focus my attention on this reality that is bigger than me and from which I cannot escape? It is our relationship to this encounter that determines whether or not we awaken to a greater reality and the life of authenticity to which this relationship might deliver us, or choose to sleep through the one life that is ours to live. It is the personal, solitary encounter with this ultimate reality that is the source of all great myths and all depth-seeking traditions of all time. It is this ultimate encounter that delivers us to the journey of all journeys. Come along. <laughs>